January 1st, 2022. Blue Ice Aviation Hangar. Here's a stupid idea. Can we fly it? Hmm. It's probably a stupid idea. Hold on, let me explain something before somebody gets themselves all worked up in a tizzy. That airplane is in the restricted category. I have a special airworthiness certificate. A restricted airworthiness category certificate thingy for carrying external loads. Alaska lets you do stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was an annoying to stop it again. Um, but I'm still learning how to tell stories, I think. And, and I kind of started with the punchline there. Um, so we're gonna back up and I'm gonna tell you why this snow machine is an important part of the story. I think that's a better place to start. Sorry. The airstrip where I landed all the materials is about a quarter mile from the construction site where I'm actually building the hut. And I needed a way to move the materials that distance. Yeah, I think it's gonna involve, it's certainly gonna involve some welding. We're gonna need a rack. Believe it or not, Walmart doesn't sell a snow machine rack for a Super Cub. So we had to drop a plan and get some steel and then just good old trial and error. Making a little progress here, huh? The snow machine rack. It is not done. We are at least now supported off the ground. You know, and it seems pretty stable, I would say. It would have been better to be on straight skis, but I only had the wheel skis. So the wheel, plus the suspension, had the seat bumping into the lift strut. So after looking at the situation, I knew one of them had to go. It was either the wing, the wheel, or the uh, snow machine suspension. I didn't go to college for nothing. I sit here and I, I make this video and then I try to do this narration on top. And it makes it all look so, you know, organized and well thought out. Well, don't be fooled. I think this took me the better part of December and January just to build these two racks and to make an airdrop system. But um, it was fun. And then, you know, in the end, I had to paint it all so it matched. Hey. I don't know if you can hear me at all. Oh. Okay, we got all these pieces painted. There's the lumber rack. There's the snow machine rack. I think it's fly day. I think we're gonna do this. See if we can put that old snow machine on this old girl. We'll see how that goes. I needed one last thing before taking this out across the glacier. I needed a test flight. So I did the only thing that made sense and I called mom and dad. So just, now the track just has to clear. There. Okay. It's in a bind because of this. Need now three eighths. I think it's not super secure, but external load operations. Totally legit. Okay, see this right here? Restricted. Uh huh. Good for stuff just like this. 
Okie dokie. For all you aviation nerds, my useful load's about 700 pounds and a Skidoo Tundra with a long track from 1994 weighs about 350 pounds. So well within limits, but the wing was heavy. Yeah, it's, it's good, it flew good. Come on back if you wanna see some more flying through the Chugach Mountains. How it is that I bundle up the lumber and transport to Sheep Mountain in preparation for airdropping it on site. And also uh, the flight of the snow machine from our base at Sheep Mountain out across the glacier. That's what'll be coming up in the next episodes. <laughs>